Greetings everyone, Zach here for another video on inner alchemy and the refinement of being. Today we're going to be talking about spontaneity and structure and uh, with the goal of achieving balance in our lives. I think out of all the different aspects of yin and yang, which the awareness of will have a direct impact on how we live our lives. I think this might be the most profound and important um, dynamic to become aware of and knowledgeable in, in order to uh, truly achieve and uh, have happiness and harmony and health in our lives. So I'm really excited to uh, go into this. Um, the balance of spontaneity and structure will create either freedom and fulfillment or a lack of accomplishment and a lack of enjoyment and uh, constraint in our lives. It's really a double or nothing kind of situation. So I really uh, think it's important to, to strive for balance of spontaneity and structure. Let's look at a couple of uh, basic examples of how these uh, these energy dynamics um, govern different aspects of our of our daily life. So, first of all, our thoughts, okay, our neuro patterns, our structures, their pathways, literally. The more that we abide to structure, the more that these neuro paths solidify, psychologically speaking, and neuro uh, neurochemically speaking, and that that's good. It's it's powerful to have solidified neural pathways. That's how we create intellectual thoughts. That's how we form harmonious habits that are, are beneficial to us. Uh, it affects a lot of the ways that we uh, think regularly. Um, however, if our neural patterns, if our thoughts are not properly balanced with an like, open-mindedness, uh, spontaneousness to develop new patterns, then we run the risk of becoming stagnant and arrogant and ultimately unhappy <clears throat> because we are no longer growing and evolving. And the human condition leaves us most fulfilled when we are growing and evolving ourselves. It's just, a, I think, a, a byproduct of having a, an evolved brain the way we do. <clears throat> Another aspect is in communication, okay? And this obviously directly relates to our neuro patterns. Let's say I'm talking to you, um, uh, let's say I'm talking to a person face to face, or I guess it applies even right now, talking to you guys on this camera. Um, if I feel that I've got it all figured out and I create a structure of exactly what I'm gonna say, uh, it's going to leave me potentially unable to grasp a more profound manner of expressing or even be able to cater my expressions to the individual. Like if I have an idea and I have this structure is absolutely solidified, it's all structure and it's no spontaneity, um, I might approach somebody and come off as very harsh because here is my idea, I'm laying it out, and I'm not open to change anything about it. Um, it's also just a very non-beneficial in conversation because it leads to a very uh, domineering disposition. If you're all structure and no spontaneity, you're naturally going to try to control the flow of the conversation because you're really not open to new changes in, in the social dynamic. And that's obviously uh, disharmonious. Another uh, good example, the third one, that I'm, uh, the last one I'll address right now, is living our lives, walking around our exertions. Um, it's obviously beneficial to have structure. Um, that's how we achieve goals. That's how we discipline ourselves is through structure. But uh, if we are not open to spontaneity, again, we run the risk of, of foolishness by default, really, because we convince ourselves that we've got it figured out, our structure is so perfect, and we need to just keep doing it the way we think thought we were supposed to do it yesterday or whenever we developed that structure and we're no longer open to adaptation and evolution and when evolution stops when freedom stops unhappiness sets in boredom sets in and 
possibly even in craziness, you know, it's, it's going to really just constrict our emotional and our mental flow. So I took down a couple of notes. Let me um, go over. Again, uh, I'm trying to balance spontaneity and structure. Um, all of what I just said was just thoughts. That was my spontaneous expression. Um, but I also took a few notes uh, over the past couple of days about spontaneity and structure. So you can see right there, I'm trying to have a living balance, you know. Um, why is it so important to us, um, as I expressed, um, to achieve our fullest potentials as well as to enjoy our progress? It is very important to have a balance of spontaneity and structure. How is it related to alchemy? The balance of spontaneity and structure are like a framework that encompass our daily exertions, and that's what I was just talking about. The framework of spontaneity and structure will either lead us to great accomplishment or lead us to laziness and unhappiness. So it's, it's, a, it's a very fundamental cornerstone in the uh, balance of our, of our being. Um, and in terms of alchemy, um, our goal, as discussed in the first video, is to create an equation in our lives. All the aspects of our lifestyle are variables in this equation. And our goal is to create an equation which will result in health, happiness, and harmony, which is a very general uh, goal that we can all strive for, and it's unique to each of us. So in formulating that equation, uh, spontaneity and structure proportions are going to really make or break the results. If we think, well, this variable is perfect and I have to keep this variable in the equation, you know, I, maybe, maybe that'll be good. You know, maybe that'll serve the, the given result, the reaction that we're trying to achieve, the health, happiness, and harmony. Or maybe at a certain point that variable is no longer beneficial to our equation because we're always evolving beings. And that's where you can really see the relevance of spontaneity. It's beautiful to develop this structure in this equation, but we need to be open uh, to the spontaneity to adjust the equation and always change the variables around. And uh, that's where you can really see the benefit of yin energy, adaptability. Um, so some more thoughts on spontaneity. Uh, I was trying to write down some words that really uh, resonate with it to help it to kind of sink in um, for our associations in our brain. Um, adaptation, freedom, and uh, refinement are all connected to this yin energy of spontaneity. It's like water, you know, being able to just flow and to move about based on what is around it. It's, it's very important to have that, uh, that energy and that uh, yin balance in our lives. Um, what happens if we have too little spontaneity? And I touched on this briefly um, at the beginning of this. Too little, we're going to wind up with an unfulfilling regimen and we're going to be stagnant. We're just going to be all structure and we're, we become robotic and we're just achieving, uh, achieving a ritual and just retracing our steps every day. And what kind of life is that? You know, I mean, freedom comes through living and experiencing and and being open to dive into new things. Uh, what happens if we have too much spontaneity? Too much, we result with this, uh, almost, it's a, a common effect in the, the hippie culture from what I've seen, the idea of go with the flow. You know, of course it's beautiful to go with the flow. Nobody should be a strict, stagnant robot, but if all we do is go with the flow, we run the risk of overlooking achievements and dedication. There's things in our lives that require uh, perseverance and discipline in order to achieve and if we're all spontaneity every day we'll wake up and be like well I really feel the vibe to do this this and this and then we overlook these things that might be very simple to achieve if we just dedicated and focused a little bit of structure towards it um, so let's talk about structure for a second structure is connected to our logic and it is yang energy structure is uh, resonant with the idea of groundedness. It is dedication, solidity, and discipline. And you can see, um, as I just described, uh, spontaneity, how these are very, very much connected. They're two sides of one coin, as all aspects of yin and yang energy are. Um, so what happens if we have too little structure? We, our accomplishments will dwindle and laziness will thrive. And that's the same um, converse 
connection to having too much yin, uh, too much spontaneity, is the same as too little structure. Um, what happens if we have too much structure? We wind up feeling struck, or sorry, feeling stuck. We feel bored, and we're overlooking new possibilities. There could be a perfect gem of something new sitting right before us, but we're so set on our strict structure that we overlook it and we deny that it might be a beneficial thing to experience. Um, that's the majority of it. Let me see. I wrote a couple more over here. My, uh, my book is a little bit spontaneous and chaotic. Um, let's think about how um, logic and spontaneity play off of each other and benefit each other. I, I think this is the last really important point to uh, absorb in this thought. Um, structure is connected to the idea of logic. Um, our brain uh, naturally functions on logic and will create its best attempt at an equation of structure that it thinks serves us. So by having a logical structure, when we come across uh, a spontaneous new thing, like let's say we're walking down our path and we're, we're pretty sure we want to stay on this path, but we're open and we're spontaneous. And then we see this new possibility arrive. So that yin energy comes into view and we're not a stagnant robot. We're, we're receptive, right? So we see this spontaneous new possibility come into view. We apply our yang, we apply our, our logic and our structure the structure of our brain to analyze this. So right there, you can see that that yin energy is balanced with the yang of logical assessment. And then we can see, hmm, does this new possibility really serve my harmony and my pursuit? Or is it something I should just go ahead and pass on? Because there's infinite spontaneous occurrences. So we don't necessarily need to jump on all of them. And that's where you can see, again, that balance between yin and yang is so integral. Um, Spontaneity is connected to our intuition, and uh, our goals regularly need to be reappraised with our spontaneous intuition. Uh, our intuitive spontaneity can analyze these goals and really decide if it is something that is still going to be beneficial to us. And uh, again, you can see the, the balance between yin and yang energy. I really think that this video should help to really solidify the whole uh, awareness, I think, of yin and yang energy, as well as really kind of be it, serve as a capstone to piece together all the previous uh, ideas about creating the equation and then the yin energy supplements and the yang energy supplements. Spontaneity and structure is really the, the ground level of alchemical refinement of our being. And I, I hope that you guys uh, benefit from this awareness, and I hope that I expressed it in a way which is uh, able to be utilized by your brains. Uh, so, uh, a thought to leave you on. Consider what you need for balance. Use your logic and consider what you need to find balance in your lives. But then also feel it. Open up that receptivity and that intuition and feel, you know, is this also something that is going to benefit us? Um, and I encourage you to take some time in your life to ponder on some structures and some spontaneity to implement. Uh, and from here, I will next proceed to giving a couple of little brief exercises and outlines that can help you to develop spontaneity and structure in a balanced dynamic in your life. Blessed be you, my friends. Have a wonderful progression until we speak again.